Perhaps you or someone you know is looking for work, trying to figure out next steps, and where does God's calling fit into all of that? Well, stay tuned, because my guest on this edition of Weekend Connection will get into all of that. Let's get connected today with Brian Ray. Good afternoon, my friend. I welcome you to Weekend Connection on the Bible Broadcasting Network. And my guest on Weekend Connection today is Brian Ray, and he is with Crossroads Career Network. Brian, how are you? Good, and thank you for the invitation to join you. It is my pleasure. And uh, as we get into today's interview together, and delve into Crossroads Career and what that's all about. Before I do that, just a little bit about yourself, where you're from, and uh, some of your journey leading up to Crossroads Career Network. So Tar Heel born, Tar Heel bred. Um, So that means I was born in North Carolina and went to college in North Carolina. Uh, Out of uh, college, Uh, I started into the advertising and marketing business, uh, which I enjoyed tremendously. Uh, However, before I was invited out of that career and into something else, um, I received an invitation through a pastor to come to know Jesus in a real personal way. I grew up in church, but, you know, it was something, not someone. So um, not long after that, I just began to change in terms of my interests and certainly my values, including my behavior. And and so one step led to another, and uh, I was presented with an opportunity to join an executive search firm, and they wanted me to develop the business uh, in the marketing and advertising industries. So I thought that was a great idea, and I did that for seven years. One of my clients uh, was a restaurant chain, um, smallish uh, back in those days, uh, 100 uh, stores, and it was called Chick-fil-A. And I did a couple of years of recruiting for them on their home office staff and then began to experiment uh, with them on finding operators for their stores Uh, which resulted in them inviting me to come over and oversee their human resources, operator ventures, and and administration. So I was with them for a little over three years. If I'm ever going to work for somebody, this is the place to go. However, the Lord gave me an invitation to work for him directly. And so in 1987, I started the Primus Consulting Executive Search Business, Uh, which included helping find the right leaders for the right roles for a variety of organizations. And uh, and that that business I ran for 28 years and just closed it a couple of years ago, uh, simply because I started a ministry with a couple of other people also in 1987 called Crossroads Career. And the legal name is Crossroads Career Services, and, uh, and we were just trying to help people who not just wanted a job uh, or even a career, uh, but also to walk in God's calling, whatever that might look like to them. Uh, and that's been the theme for now 30 years. And a couple of years ago, I realized, you know, if I only had this many years left, let me spend it all as a, a, in the uh, Crossroads Career Platform. And the thing that has impressed me with Crossroads Career is exactly what you just mentioned, that early on when you all work with people, uh, the emphasis is on calling, and that the theme verse is Ephesians 2.10. Actually, uh, that was a, reading that verse and receiving that verse, those are two different things. <laughs> uh, receiving that verse is actually true was a huge disruption uh, to the way I was approaching executive search and human resources. And, and, and it simply states, and there's a variety of versions, of course, but mine is closer to New American Standard. So uh, you and I are God's workmanship, or sometimes called masterpiece, created in Christ Jesus 
for good works. And, and then there's the comma, not in the original Greek as I understand it, but, but in my version, there's a comma. So take a, take a deep breath. Those good works, God prepared them for us that we might walk in them. So beforehand, wherever you are in your life, before, before that, God has prepared work for you, good works. Not, and I don't mean just vocationally. This has to do with everything, but but as I studied the good works language, uh, actually the first definition is vocational, and then it then it relates to the rest of your life. And that's really so, and that's really good news, Brian. I mean, oh, really, gosh, yes, yeah, yes, yes. But now it's not about how much money can I make and how much success can I have. Not that those things wouldn't come my way, but that's that comes as a result of doing my best to walk, that's walking is done one step at a time, walking in works he's already prepared, which really kind of puts you in a position of communicating with him every day and ideally all day long. So with that as a basis of how is it you go find a job or change or build your career or and in fact try to get a sense for what's my purpose in life beyond my family and beyond my personal stewardship, what is my work purpose in life? And uh, just to simply hear and follow his calling. And, and when someone has that realization, it could be in one of our workshops, it could be in a small group study, it could be one-on-one -on -one coaching, it could be on a, online. When that sinks in, everything changes. And it's not, it's not our material, it's their receiving what God ha is giving. And uh, so it's it's the it's the exciting thing that I really love about being in this ministry. It is very exciting. And how did you all come up with the name Crossroads Career? It belonged to the first person that said, hey, I think there's a ministry here. Her name is Betsy McCall. She had started a staffing firm called Crossroads Career Services. She met another person. And he was an outplacement guy, and they were being encouraged to convert Crossroads Career Services from a business to a ministry. And, and I had already, at that point in time with Chick-fil-A, been exploring how can we help people that are trying to come on board with Chick-fil-A. And at the time, that was 10,000 people a year, and we're going to pick 100. So, so there was such a need and opportunity to to at least offer something more than not here. And uh, so in any case, the three of us, uh, along with some other volunteers, took the Crossroads Career Services business, converted that to a ministry, and, and it's been a ministry ever since. I appreciate the backstory, and I know our listeners do as well, because that gives some good context into what I'd like to delve in with you now, and that is uh, all of the facets of the Crossroads Career Network. Uh, it's more than just helping people find jobs. It's a whole lot more, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. So the longer stretch, the, the short way of saying it is to help people find, uh, get the right job to maximize, meaning get direction for and develop their career, and then most importantly, hear and follow God's calling. And those three's those three things are actually married together in one seven-step process, which forms the basis of our curriculum and all of our materials. How long did it take for you and your team to develop that seven-step process? About a nanosecond. <laughs> okay. Because, because uh, it was a gift. So I can't remember exactly what year, but it was really early on. Uh, and so in my home, we uh, had a small group of 10 to 15 people uh, coming once a week, uh, and they were either looking for a job or wanted to change careers or whatever. And so at the end of our time together, we kept these big sheets of paper uh, where we took notes as we, meaning the, the little team that we had uh, of helpers, we absolutely just saw that there was a six-step process in walking through a crossroads in your career that nobody had been talking about. So that we, it was instant. I mean, the minute we saw it, 
Um, and we we spent a little bit of time in a, how can we make it more memorable? But but basically, uh, we took off with it. And so anybody we were helping, within about a minute, we would know where they were in the process and what to do next. And it was just incredibly helpful. Many years later, uh, we published a workbook and we had an introduction to that workbook that talked about God's calling and then these six steps. And then 10 years after that, uh, the Lord made it clear that, you know what, the introduction is really the first step. And that step is upward with me. And that was about God's calling. And we went, oh my gosh, that's crazy. What? So it got converted um, literally 20 years later uh, to seven steps. The first one being all about God's calling, which we simply headline is upward. And the next three are, then there's attitude, aptitude, altitude. So that's really more about career building, direction, strategy. And then there's searching, sorting, and selecting. And that's more about the job search and the getting of the job. Now, there are crossroads career chapters, if you will, or auxiliaries yes. throughout the country. Can you explain yes. that for just a moment? Sure. So um, in year 2000, uh, we had three churches that had taken our material and started teaching it as part of their curriculum, either in their education department or uh, stewardship uh, group or whatever. And so we just started helping them. And and so over the past, gosh, how many years has that been? 17? Uh, we've helped over 400 churches to start a ministry uh, a career ministry to help people, regardless of what they called it, Crossroads Career, or, or they called it ABC Church Career Ministry. It doesn't matter to us. We just wanted to help people, help others hear and follow God's calling in the midst of the job search or the career transition. That's wonderful. You know, I know, and my wife knows all too well how a job search and all of what that entails uh, has changed so drastically over the course of many years. And uh, looking back, especially since the mid '80s, uh, what have you seen as some of the big, uh, some of the biggest changes? I know technological for sure, but what are some of those other things? Probably the biggest change is the technology piece, where all of a sudden everything's on the internet, and and, and that continues to change in terms of execution of how you use the internet for job search and career transition. So that would be number one. Uh, the other thing that's equally as disruptive, but people don't necessarily confront it right away, is that once upon a time, you, you know, you, you got a job like my dad, for example. He had two jobs. The first one was 10 years and the next one was 30 years. So now um, I'm just working with a friend of mine and uh, he's just finishing 15 years in China, having started a company over there. But prior to that, when he was 30 something, he had already been through seven different jobs so that there is not the company will take care of you and you climb the career ladder. And now it's more about you being your own entity and you make your own way through these various uh, different jobs and employers. Times really have changed. They really, oh, really have. Oh, absolutely. Yep. Yes. Now, I'm looking at your website here, crossroadscareer.org. That's your main website. Any special features you'd like to point out regarding your website? Just uh, what you can't see is that over 52,000 people are registered on that website, uh, taking advantage of the free career and ministry resources. Our most popular ones are the Job Connection, any moment, there's a couple of hundred thousand postings on that job connection. Uh, next is the career interest profile. So a lot of people say, well, I'd like to change careers, and I know what I don't want. I'm not sure what I do want. So we have a free and easy career profile that begins to focus on particular occupations. My favorite is the confidential prayer network, so that anybody at any time can go online, post a prayer, and when it's seen, nobody knows who you are, but they do see the prayer request. So like this morning, I was praying for people. 
and you pray with your fingers. I mean, you literally type the prayer. And when I hit submit or enter, the, the other person gets it, but they don't know who I am. So it's a totally confidential prayer network. Um, the other thing that's incredibly helpful is the resume builder. So for a lot of people, that's just very complicated and we've made it very simple. Uh, and then finally, there is 150 more catalog career and ministry resources all laid out uh, in this seven step process. So all of that is for free. I mean, all you have to do is, you know, get online and sign up and that takes 30 seconds or less. Or if you're a one finger guy on the keyboard, like I am 60 seconds. <laughs> so, uh, so in any case, Oh, and the other thing that would be helpful, uh, we, you not only can find their ministries around the country through, uh, our zip code sorting thing, but also there are 2000 American job centers across the country. Every County has an assigned one. So we have merged all of those so that you can get help whether we have a ministry there or not. That's a really robust website, crossroadscareer.org. Yes. And Brian, if anybody would like to get in touch with Crossroads Career by phone, what's the telephone number? Actually, because the volume is so great, <laughs> um, we have one email address. Okay. And that is support at crossroadscareer.org, support at crossroadscareer.org. And if churches are interested in having you or someone else across the country involved with Crossroads Career, they would just email you. Is that right? That's correct. You uh, bet. Okay. Brian, thank you so much for joining me today on Weekend Connection. I really appreciate it. And, you know, the whole job search Thing, if you will, it's not just young people, but uh, for people of all ages, because times have changed so much. Absolutely. And wherever you are, whether you're 16 or 61, the opportunity to be at a crossroads in your career is the opportunity to look to the cross of Christ, which is laying its shadow across your career path in order to invite you to more fully walk in paths that he has prepared with him. That's really good. I love that word picture, that the crossroads is really a positive thing. It really is. It is. Brian, thanks so, so much. Yeah, go, You wanted to say one more thing? Oh, just to say thank you. It's a pleasure to be with you on radio, and, and I look forward to uh, connecting again with you again. All right, Brian, thank you so, so much. Let me give you that contact information once more, my friend. The website address is crossroadscareer.org, and the contact email address is support at crossroadscareer.org. Weekend Connection is a public affairs program of the Bible Broadcasting Network. Thank you for listening to this feature, a production of BBN, the Bible Broadcasting Network. BBN provides 24-hour Christian programming, great Christian music and Bible teaching. Listen to BBN by clicking the link in the description.